No matter where you look, this family farm could be a postcard. This is Gentry's Farm, and it's been a part of Middle Tennessee since the mid-1800s. Sprawling, picturesque, and historic, nearly 500 acres, including a Civil War air house, old tobacco barns, and a four-acre corn maze shaped like a pumpkin. I met up with Jace Gentry himself, a key member of the seven generations of Gentry farmers, and he gave me the VIP tour of this patch of land, known in these parts as the ultimate pumpkin patch. If you grew up in Middle Tennessee, then chances are Gentry's pumpkin patch was a key part of your fall. Why pumpkins? Like what, what about this farm made you guys think pumpkins? Uh, we realized kind of early on about 25 years ago that was a fairly easy thing to grow here and it was something that was pretty marketable. We started just as a roadside stand up on the front of the farm. We had a couple of pallets of pumpkins and we realized that people like their pumpkins in the fall. Yeah, and then it just grew into this huge, massive staple of the community that it is today. Yeah, it's been it's been unreal. <laughs> um, it, it just kind of kept, kept snowballing and um, over the past uh, 26, 27 years now, we've not advertised any. Uh, it's all been word of mouth. We just, uh, we kept adding things year to year and as more people showed up, we tried to make more space for those people and here we are. So this is the big tobacco barn. It is, it's our old tobacco barn we used to use uh, when I was little. So what made you guys move from tobacco to pumpkins? So there wasn't a lot of money in tobacco growing up, uh, and most of Middle Tennessee got out of tobacco, and about the same time we got out of tobacco, we realized pumpkins were fairly lucrative. So what, though, made you guys think that Tennessee, Middle Tennessee specifically, was like a perfect prime farmland for pumpkins? You know, I don't know if we thought that. <laughs> I think we, uh, I think we kind of stumbled on it. We started, we started growing a few pumpkins and realized that we could and realized that there was a lot of people that wanted them, so we grew more and we grew more until we have what we have now. Which is a massive pumpkin patch that is kind of like the cornerstone of fall activity here in Nashville. It's really grown and a lot of people know about it and we have a lot of schools and kids that come through, so a lot of families, uh, yeah, a lot of families love it. So what made your family think that like a pumpkin patch was gonna be a great vehicle for all of this amazing agricultural education? You know, it it really grew. It was not um, it was not really a conscious effort <laughs> when we started, and we realized, man, there is a hole in our community where yeah. uh, uh, kids are not getting to see these things. Mm -hmm. um, there is a massive opportunity for education, and, and both my parents come from education backgrounds. My uh, grandfather was in education for 50 years, and so we really try to just take the ball and run with it. We we've had a lot of fun, and and hopefully, guys, teach a lot of kids about different farming practices. Well, would you mind showing me a little bit of what the kids experience when yeah, they come here? Absolutely, let's head over this way. So Jace, this is a pumpkin patch. This is a pumpkin patch. <laughs> this is our main pick your own patch for the public. Oh wow, so people can actually come here and pick pumpkins off the vine? While they're still here, people can come and pick them off the vine. So they can come in right off the road, pick what they want and leave, or they can go to our activity area as well. Oh my gosh, and this is pretty cool because I'm looking all around seeing those big gorgeous jack-o'-lantern pumpkins that everyone thinks of. How long will it take for this pick your own patch to be totally picked over? We are open to the public on the weekends, uh, and that's going to take about two to three weekends. This, this will probably be gone. So I see the big, beautiful orange pumpkins here, but what kind of varieties do you guys grow on the farm? We grow a lot of different varieties in different places. Here in our Pick Your Own Patch, we have paired it down to two varieties we know work. So okay. we have a Gladiator variety and Kratos variety. Uh, for us here in Middle Tennessee, we found these will grow, they're gonna get big. Do you know how, like just across the board, how many different types of pumpkins you guys will sell at Gentry? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, we want, it'll be a bunch. It will be probably somewhere in the realm of 20 different varieties, I would Whoa. say, somewhere in that range. Oh my goodness, so like literally there's something for everyone there's here. There's something for everybody. All <laughs> shapes, all sizes, all colors, everything the you want. The kids are gonna leave happy, the moms are gonna leave happy with all their decor for the fall. A lot, <laughs> wheelbarrows full of decor head out of here and decorate a lot of Franklin. Well, will you help me pick out a pumpkin 
I might need a little bit of help considering I look like I've swallowed one. Yeah, I would love to. We don't want anything that's soft. Right. Um, and then it's up to you on what you want. So we've got one that's unripened here. Uh, and then we've got one that's about ready to go right there. Well, that there. one looks just about perfect to me. Now, what kind is this? This one looks like a Kratos to me. A Kratos. Uh, they're pretty similar. Um, they're both going to be bigger jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, mid-size to bigger. Okay. So this is, I this believe is this is This is mid-size? That's mid-size. We've got some monsters <laughs> that will come in. Now, when you say monsters, like, how many pounds are you talking? Oh, pretty heavy, because I have to haul a lot of them over the, <laughs> over the course of the year. Can you I would say up? 45, 50 pounds, some of what? them, maybe. They're pretty heavy. Yes, yeah, so you're getting your yeah, workout in. I'm, I get, I, I burn a lot of calories in October. <laughs> so we want this one. Is this the one you want? I, this I is think a, so. It's a nice round one. It's It will be a good decorator. And the little bit of green that you see there actually is going to go away. When you put it out in the sun, really? it's going to ripen up just a little bit more. So if it's got a little bit of green, that's okay. okay. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy. We do have cutters sometimes, but I think we can just twist this right off. Oh, you look like you've done that a time or two. And then we've got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our big beautiful pumpkin. 